Hey guys, uh, Nelson here from BSG Customs. Um, I want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in today. Um, I just is gonna, I'm hoping it's going to be a quick update, but I don't think so. Um, I haven't been on the bench much uh, lately. We've uh, been having some really nice weather, and uh, the weather's been turning around. So <clears throat> it's been nice to um, be hanging outside with the family and stuff. Um, you know, uh, soccer season has started, so I'm uh, coaching uh, my daughter, and. Um, that's twice a week so um you know the fun the fun begins and stuff uh outdoor fun anyways um but uh since the weather's been nice i've been in the garage too uh fooling around <clears throat> with some stuff and um well i built myself uh my own um spray booth guys um it was pretty simple you know i've been looking online for for one for quite a while but um <clears throat> i wasn't willing to pay um you know two three hundred dollars for one um i mean i'm not knocking them down in any way but uh, you know they, they do work well and they come with the uh, the correct equipment and stuff but uh, you know you have to pay for uh, for all that uh, well made uh, you know material and stuff and shipping costs and all that so um you know i found uh, i have i've used here uh, some half inch uh, plywood uh, on the bottom and the back uh, i found myself uh, as you can see the the two side walls are yellow uh, it's just a corrugated uh, plastic um, that I found uh, pretty cheap on a, on a on a site that we have here for uh, kind of like a buy and sell. Um, so I picked uh, I picked up five sheets for like ten dollars, and they're pretty they're pretty big sheets. They're like forty eight by by forty eight or something like that. So uh, they're pretty big, and I mean I only used uh, one. <clears throat> I didn't even use a full sheet, so. Um, and on the top there where the light is, is just, uh, well, I believe it's a three quarter inch or five eighths MDF. Um, I just use it as the uh, top because I knew I was going to put a light there. So, um, but I will uh, show you, uh, around this, uh, spray booth. Uh, the size of it is, uh, 25 by 20 and a half or sorry, 25 and a half by 20 and a half. So you can get, uh, the uh, 20 by 20 and a half uh, filters in there pretty, uh, easily. Um, and it's just uh, I screwed it on to the side there with some um, uh, countersink, countersink um, washers kind of uh, things. And then the, the fan is in the back there. Uh, so I did use the same fan that I had on my uh, original spray booth, which I just used um, a plastic tub, uh, just like most people um, have been using um, that I've watched uh, on YouTube. So... I took that out and, and cleaned it all up. Um, as you can see, it's just sitting in there in the middle in the back there. And uh, I mean, she she um, the exhaust fan works great. It's just a bathroom fan. Uh, I believe it's 130 uh, CFMs, so uh, it blows uh, it blows out pretty well. Um, I'll probably uh, show you guys how how uh, how good it blows. And uh, obviously, also uh, <clears throat> the filter can can just slide right out. There's the fan there, and I can easily slide it back right in. I've got a, a little lip on top here. Also, if you guys, I'll show you on the top. Um, that yellow strip there uh, is just, uh, it's, it's taped on there on the back end, so it's, it kind of works as a flap. And I can just flap it open. And if I want, I can take the uh, air filter out that way. Very simple. So I thought that was a, a neat thing to do. And I was like, well, let me, uh, you know, since I had the, uh, the ac accessibility to do it, so I did it. And uh, you know what? We'll just turn it on here to show you guys how she runs. Um, you know, I don't have the hose hooked up, but I'm also going to um, hardwire this into... Uh, a switch so that way I can just switch it on and if you can hear it it's not very loud which I like so I'll just grab um, I'll grab some paper here so I've got uh, one two three four sheets of paper here um, it's an instruction sheet and I mean that holds up pretty well for four sheets of uh, paper so uh, you're only spraying some paint and uh, so I think that's gonna be uh, that's gonna work well there <clears throat> So yeah, that's what I've been doing guys um, And I've been doing this and I, I've got a project on the go 
so uh, that's why I wanted to get this done because I wanted to uh, start on this project and get rid of the old uh, spray booth. So, um, so this is it, guys. If uh, you know, if you guys have any questions on it and anything, uh, just uh, put them down in the comments. Uh, I will uh, reply with uh, with uh, an answer. Hopefully, uh, it was pretty simple, inexpensive. I think uh, because I had the uh, <clears throat> the bathroom fan already. Uh, I think I paid uh, probably about $30 for that. And then uh, I bought a three pack of filters for um, under five bucks and everything else. And 10 bucks for the um, the yellow sidewalls there. Uh, the wood was just laying around in the garage. So, uh, I mean, under 50 bucks, uh, you got yourself a pretty good, um, well, I've got myself a pretty good spray weed. So I'm pretty happy with it. The um, It's pretty bright too. As the light turns on there, I am going to raise up the base so that way uh, when I'm spraying my uh, my bodies, it's just going to spray right through uh, the middle there. So uh, she should work pretty good, guys. Uh, <clears throat> so I just thought I'd show you guys that and um, let you guys know what I was up to. So that's what I'm up to, guys. Uh, still watching a lot of videos. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys that are putting out some really nice stuff. So um, I enjoy watching them, guys. Um, so, uh, you know, don't stop uh, putting videos up. Anyways, guys, um, um, I'm out of here, so um, we'll uh, hopefully talk to you guys soon. Um, all right, happy building, guys. Take it easy. Ciao.